Hey Nintendo Chit Chatters, welcome back. Eddie Ray with you here for another little uh, unboxing and showing off. This time of the NES Classic Edition, which is behind me right here. And thankfully I got one. Luckily I got one. Uh, if you didn't get one yet, please keep trying online or in the store, calling, checking uh, social media, because I'm sure you'll be able to eventually get one of these in your own hands. Good luck. Let's get started. So, I would say the only way I was able to get one of these is by being lucky because I happened to be traveling to New York City on the date of this release. Uh, it just so happens that uh, I was in New York City, um, well within walking distance of the Nintendo World Store. And luckily, they had guaranteed stock of this. I got there, it was morning around between 9 and 10 or something like that. It wasn't past 10.30, I know that. Uh, I was in line, we had about maybe 40 or so people in front of us. The line was moving pretty good. And as we came out then, the line had doubled. I'm gonna show you those pictures in a little bit. Uh, but they had guaranteed stock of this. The only bad news was the extra controllers were out of stock. They sold out instantly, basically, of those store open for, I guess, maybe an hour or so, or half an hour, or maybe it be a midnight launch, I think, uh, is when the actual controllers had sold out, because they had a midnight launch of this system at the store. So, you know, I guess they didn't produce enough controllers. Hopefully that remedies itself soon, because I do need to get one. I like to have an extra one for this, so some of the two-player games, you know, uh, would be nice to have. Anyway, let's open this up. Cool little retro box. What I like about this is it has the old look and style of the original system, um, which brings back a lot of memories of being a kid. Of course, uh, Super Mario Bros., my favorite game. There's 30 games on this little system here. Uh, everything is also displayed on the back as well. It's kind of cool. So it lists all 30 games. has some of the box arts here uh, as well. On the side, it talks about the controller and the console itself, fitting the palm of your hand. And that uh, that's the box. Now, I already had this open. I was using it. I was playing with it for a while. So this is kind of like a mock unboxing. But to show you, this is what you get. Going to slide this out, so hopefully nothing falls. Here's some interesting information for you guys. I was reading online on the release of this. Um, you know, this is your your manual, your paperwork. Um, don't just toss this out and forget about it. I almost did that. I almost forgot about it. I put it aside and I reread the article I had read beforehand. There's a code in here on a small paper behind this booklet. Uh, that is for the My Nintendo Rewards, the club membership. The program took over for Club Nintendo. Um, so you can get points or coins or what have you uh, for your account to purchase uh, the different um, saving discounts that they have on games um, digitally, uh, depending on what they have running every month. Anyway, that reward code is in here, so don't throw that out. Okay? What's cool is you get an HDMI cable, okay, which is here, standard. This is longer than the actual controller cord. That's the only thing I would say about the system is like, ah, oh. but you can get adapters. And for me, you know, the old game, you used to sit pretty close to the TV to begin with. It was a smaller TV when you were a kid, these retro games, so you would sit pretty close anyway. But here uh, is the USB. Um, so you can uh, plug this into a laptop if you wanted to, um, to to run off that power. Or it has the little brick part which you can plug in, like a phone would have that. Okay. We have that. The controller. It's really nice too. Classic NES, the D-pad, select start. B buttons and the cord is I believe it's about three feet 
uh, yeah, it feels just like uh, the original. Very cool. Again, uh, if you get an extra controller when you can get them, they're about 10 bucks. Um, you can get third-party controllers as well. There's one that's uh, wireless, also wired ones that run for like between 10 and 20 bucks. Some of the styles of them though are kind of like modern looking and it takes away from the retro aspect of the system, so I don't quite like that. All right, is it bending down here? I got the console itself, and here it is. Here's my hand. Here's the console. This power button is actually your power button. The reset button, well, resets. Uh, the UI for the system is very friendly, very clean. It's easy to navigate. I think you have, what is it, four or so save states per game. So that's cool. You don't have to worry about passwords or codes for saving your games. Uh, they added in save states. I was hoping this would open up just for a little, you know, to kind of look more realistic, I guess you could say. But then I thought about it, you know, it doesn't do that, of course. It's just, it's not a solid, it's not a cutout, it's actually solid. Um, but I was thinking if this actually opened up, kids probably would break them and things like that. Because like, we'd be having these for Christmas. Here's the back. Then you have your connectors there for the two controllers. Uh, HDMI and then your uh, USB. One end of the uh, USB, of course, micro USB. For your power. Yeah, there it is. That's the NES Classic. NES Mini. Uh, so keep looking, you know, online, calling around the stores. Hopefully you can get one before the holidays. If not, I, I guarantee you these will be well stocked then in the coming uh, early next year and throughout spring. This will be on the shelves a lot because it's a great selling little system already. They're going to continue selling this and hopefully we'll get a Super Nintendo Mini. That'd be awesome or what? So cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sub, like, share, whatever you want to do. I'm Eddie Ray. Thanks for watching.